What up, y'all? Welcome to the video. As y'all coming in, y'all smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you ain't already subscribed. So over the weekend, man, we had uh, some good fights, man. It was a good fight card over the weekend, Showtime card. But with this video, I want to talk about the Jamal Charlo fight and what he should do next. So Jamal Charlo for Jose Benavidez. And if you don't know who Jose Benavidez is, it's actually David Benavidez, uh, older brother. Um, he got shot in the leg with a, with a 762. And um he fought Terrence Crawford at 147. Um, he was one of the fights to test Terrence Crawford. And Terrence Crawford hit him with an uppercut, which put him out of the, you know, whatever. Um his leg was messed up or whatever, but he put up a good fight until then, landed some good jabs or whatever on Terrence Crawford, and Terrence Crawford was able to finish the job is to come in clutch or whatever. So that's one of the reasons why I can't give Jamal Charlo all the credit or whatever, because the fight was made for Jamal to um, come back from his almost three-year layoff and, you know what I'm saying, basically make sure he still got it. Yeah, he looked nice, but, I mean... It's supposed to look nice against somebody like Jose Benavidez coming up to goddamn 160. And, and Jamal wasn't even 160. He was over 160 because he missed the weight. And, um, yeah, bro. So, Jamal did what he had to do against who he had to do it to. Now, the real thing is, right, Jamal talks about how he want to fight Canelo Alvarez next, but... Me, I don't think it should go down like this. So I'm going to play matchmaker. I don't think Jamal Charlo needs to fight Canelo right now because it's almost like a money grab if he was to do so. I still think he he still need a, you know what I'm saying? First of all, I'm going to cut the bullshit. He got to fight Caleb Plant because he slapped him. He hit him with the five fingers across the face on camera. And, you know, one thing getting slapped, but it was recorded. The man slapped him because he was playing with the man bird. He was rubbing all on his bird, yeah, wiping the oil off the bird, the bird oil, and, you know, Caleb playing spent some time trying to keep the bird right. And then Jamal, here he go, caressing the man bird. So the man felt violated because his wife was right there, so he slapped him. So when he slapped him, Jamal was looking crazy. He stumbled, he almost fell, you know what I'm saying? Caught him off guard. So, with that being said, man, I feel like Jamal has to fight Caleb Plant because you you can't, nah, bro, you gotta stand on business like like King, goddamn T.I. Son, son talking about standing on business. That's what Jamal gotta do. He gotta stand on business and he gotta get his ass in the ring with goddamn Caleb Plant and get his leg. Period, fam. That's all I want to see. I don't want to see no damn Canelo. We say Canelo for last. You let David Benavidez and Canelo punch it out. David going to whoop Canelo ass. And then after that, man, you can still fight Canelo or go straight into David Benavidez because you beat up his brother. So, it, it, hey, listen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Canelo beat your little brother. And, and, and you beat David Benavidez, little brother. So, to me, it's like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Options, options, options. But at the same time, ain't no option right now. You got to fight Caleb Plant because you slapped the taste out your mouth. Because I just think be thinking about it because, you know, I get, as soon as you try to slap me, I, I'm trying to shoot you right on the spot, right in the middle of your five fingers, open, spreading, ready to slap me. I, I want the bullet to be releasing the chamber and hitting your ass in your motherfucking chest and give you a heart attack. So I'm just saying, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jamal gotta get his lick back. He gotta fight the man that slapped him. Period. So, in the meantime, I'm gonna let this sizzle in everybody's spirit and let everybody, you know what I'm saying? Let some time go past until we find out what's gonna happen with these platforms or whatever because Showtime or whatever going out the door for the moment or maybe forever. We don't even know where a lot of guys are going to be fighting at. So, 
don't let this shit blow over and see, you know, watch the scene, see what happened or whatever. But yeah, man, Jamal, I don't want to hear no damn Canelo. Only person that does deserve Canelo right now is David Benavidez. Because he, he out here, he, he standing, he stood on Benny. He got in there and beat the hell out of Demetrius and dry. That was standing on business right there. Hit that nigga with a right hand and sent his ass to the upper room. <laughs> it fell like it fell out. I'm telling you, bro. So yeah, man. It is what it is, man. Uh, that's the only fight I want to see from Jamal. I'm gonna look at him some kind of way if he out here pushing um for this Canelo fight or whatever. Knowing damn well he need to be in there with, with Caleb and Caleb Plant. Matter of fact, he was at the fight, took a picture of where he was sitting at, and looking at the Jamal Charlo fight. Hey, I just, I want him to call me out, call me out, call me out. So a white boy just slapped can your fight. Sat in the, the first few rows, and he was ready for you to say, "So, what you gonna do, Jamal?" I'm just saying, man. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, subscribe already, and I'm out. Deuces.